Here's how we make 1200 bucks in just under 10 minutes trading oil futures. Be sure to stay until the end and watch this video through because I go over the exact settings that I use on a daily basis with our quant view indicators, the exact strategies and things I'm looking for, my pre-market analysis, how I'm managing my risk while I'm in the trade and more. So let's dive in. Okay, so trading crude futures this morning, one second data feeding into a 0.07 box Renko. I've got my lower time frame chart here and then a higher time frame chart using the Q wave. Only difference between the lower time frame and the higher time frame. This is the higher time frame settings. Just the bands really is is the main difference here. And then I'll show you the lower time frame settings right here. And then also using the QuantView SMC indicator to get these market structure notifications. So got to push up here pre-market into this little support level here, resistance, sorry. And then we got an immediate rejection. Really just going to be looking to play these bands look for bounces off the Q line here, the Q wave, sorry. And then same thing here on the shorter time frame. So about 15 minutes to market open. What I'm gonna be looking for this morning is a, we retrace back up towards this Q wave ribbon here, or maybe up into these bands back up towards this resistance level. I'll probably look to go short, vice versa here. If we push down towards this support level, would look to go long. Just watching the, price action against these bands really. And then on the shorter time frame, we got this couple nice alerts here, but didn't actually catch these. So look for some bounces off this midline here. We start getting rejected back up here again. I might look to go short. Okay, so market is about to open. If we get a play back up into this Q wave ribbon, might look to go short. If we continue to bounce up above it, then I'll go long. But really just playing that here on crude. A couple nice Q wave alerts here early this morning. I'll go ahead and looks like we're getting some rejection off this midline of the bands. Go ahead and hop in here. Order filled. See if we can't push down to one to one here. Take some profit. Shave two off here at this one to one. Basically just playing this rejection off this midline. About to hit. See if we touch those take profits. Getting danced on. Order filled. Okay. Take profit one hit. Go ahead and move stops to break even. And I will just let one ride here. I'll go ahead and see. Yeah, target. Target the bottom part of these bands. See if we can't get one final push back down. Target these areas. In a risk free trade. Basically just playing the bands here on the Q wave indicator. So a couple really nice trades. Here, as you can see, we got a rejection off of this little resistance level earlier this morning. Now, I got in here at this midline rejection, retest, I should say, and then have my final take profit just at the bottom part of this bands here. But I'm gonna risk free trade and see if we can't get one final roll over here. What do we got? Pretty strong support here. So we'll see. Go ahead and move my stop into some profit here. Shave some more off for the day. See if we can't get one final rollover for some more. Won't be greedy here. Nice little oil scalp already this morning. Basically, like I said, just play in these bands. I feel like we're gonna get one final push down before the bulls really step in. Take profit too, just at this previous support here. Oh, here it comes. Order filled. There we go. Okay, what is that? Plus 1200 to start the day. Pretty straightforward oil scalp there. Little trade recap, basically just playing the Q wave bands, just a more broad bands, and then also some settings here on the APB, as well as the Q line multiplier. So let's see. On the lower time frame chart, obviously you get a more tighter band. And then, I mean, there were some really nice, this was mainly all chop. I probably wouldn't have taken Maybe I, I would have maybe been inclined to take this bull alert, but um, that was what just before market closed yesterday. Obviously, all chop. We're here at this support level. This is why drawing these price zones is so important. And then, yeah, a couple nice bull bear alerts here on the Q wave indicator. So, once again, got in here at this retest. I mean, we had a lot of downward pressure. We got a really strong move up here. And then, once we started getting this play off the bands, that's where I started looking to the downside. And then we obviously tanked down pretty hard. I got in around 
cool is this? Like right here, basically just playing this retest of this midline. And then I caught this little move down. So also one thing to consider is the flip on the money ball. We saw momentum start to fade here on this run up. And then we obviously folded back down in these bands. Also keep in mind, I mean, we are at, I think we've, we're at previous yearly highs here. I mean, we are pretty top heavy here on oil. So pretty straightforward stuff. Able to keep the stops tight. Nice little, what was that? Maybe a one and a half, two to one. And I think I'll call it for the day. If you want access to this exact same system I'm using in this live trading session, click the link in the description. You can try the entire toolkit, access to the community, 100% risk-free. Just showcasing a little bit of our members' results here in the Profits and Wins channel. People are posting here every single day, sharing their results. We've got members here passing their combines using the QuantView system. Be sure to check out the other videos on our channel. We just posted a fully automated trading guide. Teaches you step-by-step -step how to automate these alerts. As you can see here, we have members just crushing it on automation. One of our members here, 5,000, fully automated. Another 1,000 here, 1,000, fully automated. We just dropped a full in-depth guide on how to automate our QuantView alerts. I will also link that either in the description or overlay here on the screen. That's all I got for you today. See you tomorrow.